Hey, Crucible Arms here with you. Today we're checking out the Deadfoot Arms Modified Cycle System. Do you think this truck gun might be short enough for you? Or maybe a little longer? Come along, we're gonna find out together. So the folks over at Deadfoot Arms were nice enough to send me this test system. They're in production now and available, and they sent it to me so that I could ring it out a little bit and give you my impressions. Today's just an overview of the system itself. I'm going to be testing it over the next few weeks, and then I'll do a more extensive follow-up video as we go along. But so far, I've been pretty impressed. Most of you familiar with ARs know that if you've got a folded stock, the problem with them is they basically turn them into one-shot wonders. What's unique about this system is it will shoot either deployed or in its smallest configuration. That's pretty slick. It uses a modified bolt and spring system in order to make it capable of shooting in either the deployed or undeployed position. So far, uh, it's worked really, really well for me. This is a 300 blackout, uh, nine inch barrel. So wonderful, wonderful truck gun. And we were gonna make sure that this system does what it's supposed to do, because if it does, uh, this might be my go-to truck gun from now on. But before we take it down and show you the innards, let's shoot it some more. Empty, ready to go? So let's take the system down, show you how it works. We'll always check for clear, as usual. Nothing there, we're good to go. So what we do is, uh, it's a little different than a typical AR-15 takedown. You're gonna pull the front pin first. I found this is a little easier if you do it this way, because this is under pressure. The buffer tube is right here. So now that we've got that one out, we'll go ahead and push the rear pin out. And again, because this is all under pressure, it pops apart. So, got a modified buffer tube there. We have a modified recoil spring and buffer assembly here. It's two springs and the buffer. This actually goes back into the recoil system there, or back into the buffer tube, I should say. And this goes into the back end of a modified bolt carrier. And what you can see immediately is it is a much shorter carrier. So they shaved this down in order to be able to put their modified buffer assembly on here. And this is the key to how the system works. Now, you know, when you're messing with Sonar's design, you know, everything from here forward is the same. But, you know, when you're cutting uh, weight and so forth off the back of the carrier, it begs the question, is it really going to work the way that it should? I will tell you, so far, so good. I've not had any issues, but I'm gonna to wanna to do a lot more testing on this uh, to make sure that it does do what it's supposed to do. So in order to get it back together, it's not all that different than putting your typical AR back together. A little different. You're gonna pop that in and all the way forward. Then you're going to slide the buffer spring, or the tube assembly, I should say, actually the recoil spring, Slide that in, and you are going to have to kind of now wrestle the whole thing back to where it belongs. And again, I want to do this on camera, so it's going to be a little clunkier than it would normally be. But you're basically going to slide this whole thing back together. And again, I apologize, trying to do this in frame. There we go. Ah, I had it. Pop the pins back in. And you're back in action. Now my guess is there's going to be haters that just for that reason alone aren't going to like this system. That's okay. Uh, but I didn't find that to be, I mean that's the second time I've done it. I didn't find that to be too horrible or difficult. Uh, and the system is back to being functional. The Deadfoot Arms Modified Cycle System is very simple to install. It takes about 10 minutes and requires zero modifications to either the upper or the lower.
As you saw, deploying and uh, collapsing the system is relatively simple. To deploy it, it is a friction lock. You simply grab it, pull it out, and you can pull the buttstock back to whatever configuration or whatever length that you like. There's a little pin right here that you can move to various positions to get this to the uh, length that you prefer. Now, in order to get it back down, all you have to do is take this little detent button under here and you can shorten up the stock. And then there's a small detent button under here. You push that, takes it out of the lock position and you can fold it back. So aside from the obvious benefits of this system, which is having a compact design that will allow you to shoot repeatedly in semi-automatic, folded or deployed, this system doesn't add any additional weight. If you use this T-Rex buttstock along with this system, you are basically at the same weight that you would be if you had a traditional buttstock system and a traditional buffer tube on here. So you're not uh, sacrificing weight for functionality. So that's the short and dirty version on the Deadfoot Arms modified cycle system. I want to thank Russ and the boys with Deadfoot Arms. They are combat veterans that designed this system, are producing it, and have it to market now. I appreciate them sending me a unit to test. I will be doing so over the next few weeks, give it a run for its money. I'm running it on a 300 blackout right now. I'll also be running it on a 5.56. Uh, it also is evidently supposed to be able to work with the suppress pat platform as well. So we'll uh, run a suppressor on this bad boy and uh, see what that looks like. In the meantime, appreciate your stopping by. Uh, take a look at Deadfoot Arms. They're at www.deadfootarms.com. It'll give you more information on this and how to get a hold of one. And you can also reach me on Facebook at www.facebook.com. Or you can like this video. I appreciate it if you would. Subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and share this with your friends. I think this is a pretty slick system. Until next time, this is Crucible Arms signing off. Thank you.